In this video, I'm gonna show you how to grow more potatoes in less space with this potato planter. So first off, you wanna measure out four feet on your cedar planks. Cedar's gonna last longer and don't forget to put on your safety gear. So cut out four pieces of your cedar planks. This is gonna be your base for your potato planter. So for this potato planter, I'm using fence pickets. They are cedar. Make sure you cut the edges off so they're nice and square. And then measure out three feet, but you can also make it a little smaller too to make it out to two feet. This one was pretty large, but so I'm using this drill bit. It's a three by 32 inch. So you can pre-drill your hole so you can screw your one and one fourth screws into your first frame. This is the drill bit you want to use to screw your screws in, four on each side, just like I'm doing right here. So add another four screws to the other side. Make sure these are deck screws that are waterproof. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side. So just repeat the process. So after you have the two potato planter sides put together, you want to start forming the box. So take your fence picket and right here, I'm only adding two screws and not enough space for four. Be careful not to crack the wood. Then we're flipping it over and adding the last piece. So just take that fourth piece of fence picket to complete this potato planter. So it doesn't have to be fancy. As long as it's close to being even, you just want to add another two screws to put this in. It's just going in the garden. It's not a piece of furniture, so it doesn't have to be fancy. So flip it over and then move it over to the space in your garden that you want it. I'm leveling out the ground right here to try to make it a little even so there's not so much runoff when we're watering. So make sure you put this potato planter in the area of your garden that you get full sun and you can always add to it. So as your potato plants grow, you wanna add additional fence pickets to it and add more soil. Just keep on building it up. So eventually you're gonna get a ton of potatoes with this method. So potatoes love organic matter, so I'm adding some fresh compost and warm castings to the soil mix. This is gonna help the potatoes grow really nicely. I live in zone nine and Kennebec potatoes grow really well here. I recommend that you guys check out your local extension office to ask what variety grows best in your area. So you don't have to cut them, but you can cut your potatoes if you don't have enough, but I have plenty right here. But make sure your eyes are pointing upwards, and if you do cut your potatoes, make sure they're completely dry before you put them into the ground. So as you can see, they're nicely spaced, and now we're gonna bury them and give them around 100 days before we harvest these potatoes. If you found any information in this video helpful, please consider giving it a like and subscribe for more gardening videos. Thanks for watching.